Michigan suspends Carvana's dealer license, the third state to do so. The Michigan Department of State has suspended the license of a Carvana dealership in Novi for imminent harm to the public. I've been to Novi, by the way. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Also, I have a great car buying story with negotiation strategies to share today at the end from viewer Jesse. Stick around for that. And amazing news for truck drivers at the end, too. Carvana faces several alleged violations of the Michigan Vehicle Code, which were discovered during an investigation by MDOS regulatory staff of multiple no-title complaints from consumers. The violations include a laundry list of things like this. Failing to make application for title and registration within 15 days of delivery for 112 customers since agreeing to an earlier probation extension. Committing fraudulent acts in connection with selling or otherwise dealing in vehicles where Carvana employees admitted to destroying title applications and all applicable documents pertaining to the sale of three vehicles that were sold to customers and Carvana took the vehicles back. And also failing to maintain odometer records improperly issuing temporary registrations, including <sighs> out-of-state registrations, failing to have records available for inspection during reasonable or established business hours, possessing improper odometer disclosure records on which the odometer disclosure had been signed on behalf of the purchaser. On be yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> a fraudulent signature. <laughs> Violating terms of a probation <laughs> agreement 127 times. 127 violations? Wow. Right. So what did Carvana say about all this? Uh, help, we're being singled out. Uh, they just started playing the victim. Yeah, but Carvana didn't stop there with the victim pitch. They also launched a petition asking for support from consumers in Michigan after the company's license to operate in the state was suspended last week. So they are asking the same people they victimized to help bail them out now? <laughs> yes. Yikes. In an email sent out recently, the online used vehicle retailer asked consumers to sign the petition to support keeping Carvana and online hassle-free car buying available without interruption in Michigan. But Michigan's Department of State said that it was suspending Carvana's license for a multitude of alleged violations of the Michigan Vehicle Code, including repeated infractions pertaining to titles, registrations, and odometers. Those were discovered during an investigation of several no-title complaints from consumers, the state said. Carvana claiming to be singled out doesn't hold much water in my thinking because this isn't the first time Carvana has been in hot water, not even close. We published this video titled, Carvana Review, Glory Days for Used Car Dealer Are Over in 2022. And we published that video after these headlines like this one popped up earlier in the year and now came up in the news in another state in August after Carvana had once again run afoul of the Illinois Secretary of State's office, which had already reinstated a temporary suspension of the company's dealer license in Illinois. There was an order that went into effect July 18th and until it was lifted, Carvana was prohibited from selling vehicles in Illinois. There had also been a previous suspension that was later stayed on May 26th, allowing Carvana to conduct business in Illinois under strict guidelines. Breaches of those guidelines prompted the latest suspension. Among the violations in Illinois, according to the Secretary of State's office, issuing temporary registration plates of another state to Illinois residents, which is illegal. That's weird. Issuing temporary registration plates without going through a license remitter as required by the stay agreement. Failing to process title and registration paperwork through the Secretary of State upon sale of a vehicle to Illinois customers is required by Illinois law. Vehicles purchased prior to the suspension could still be delivered to buyers, officials said. For Carvana customers experiencing issues with their title and registration in Illinois, you should contact the Illinois Secretary of State Police at 630-693-0551 to file a complaint. Staff members will provide you with assistance in getting your title transferred. The number is right here for your convenience. The most recent development came in late September when the state filed criminal charges against Paul Bro, Carvana's vice president, general counsel, and secretary. Now, well, back to the Michigan case. A Michigan Department of Safety news release stated, these continued violations create an ongoing imminent threat to public health, safety, or welfare of the public requiring emergency action. Just as there was in Illinois, there's a backstory in Michigan, too. In February 2021, MDOS regulatory staff conducted a general compliance inspection of Carvana and assessed multiple notices of noncompliance and, in March, 
had a preliminary conference with the used car dealer to address violations on May 7, 2021. Carvana began an 18-month probation agreement with a $2,500 administrative fine and admission of several violations of the code, including that all dealership employees who handled paperwork would attend the department's dealer training program. $2,500? That's nothing. You're right. It was nothing because soon after, Carvana violated the probation agreement <laughs> and the state held a second preliminary conference with multiple Carvana representatives on January 11, 2022, MDA said. The department continued to work with Carvana on compliance and on February 7, 2022, Carvana representatives signed a six-month probation extension with a $5,000 administrative fine and admission of several more violations of the code. $5,000 fine? That is still nothing. Still nothing indeed because following the signing of the probation extension, this just goes on. It gets worse. MDOS received several no title complaints from consumers and conducted the investigation that led to the current violations and suspension they were facing now. You know, you guys, no matter what state you're in, I think Carvana is kind of a risky place to buy a car from. Um, yeah. The department will seek revocation of the dealer's license at an administrative hearing. Michigan Department of Safety is asking any consumers who have complaints with Carvana or have purchased vehicles from the dealer and have experienced problems obtaining titles to call the Office of Investigative Services Automotive Complaint Line at 517-335-1410. The number is here on the screen for your convenience. A Carvana spokesperson said in response to questions, at Carvana, we are always extremely focused on the safety and satisfaction of our millions of customers. We work collaboratively and in strong partnership with state leaders and regulatory agencies in many states across the country. Now listen to this. And then they added, in most instances, arcane and outdated regulations have struggled to keep pace with our innovative business model technology, and surging customer demand for a new, convenient, and accessible way to shop, buy, and trade in used vehicles. So they're saying the state and its outdated regulations are the real problem? It's not themselves? Essentially, that's what they're saying. They told Repairer Driven News, we reject the Michigan Secretary of State's allegations as baseless and reckless, <laughs> and we strongly disagree with the state's heavy-handed and abrupt effort to shut down a growing Michigan business with tens of thousands of customers over what amounts to technical paperwork violations involving title and transfer issues. We have already corrected 99% of the technical paperwork violations cited in the state's report and welcome the opportunity to address the state's ongoing concerns through constructive dialogue, changes to outdated regulations through legislation in the courts. Yikes. Carvana further said they urged the Secretary of State to work with them to resolve this matter as expeditiously as possible. It seems like Carvana needs to urge itself to expeditiously work with its own customers, you know, legally. There's more. They continued to say, meanwhile, we will continue serving our customers, creating jobs and investing in Michigan while this matter is being resolved. Kind of like thumbing their noses at the state. And well, this will just keep happening. So our advice, steer clear of Carvana and any dealer who can't show you the title of a vehicle before you buy it and report any dealer who doesn't follow the laws in your state. This past Saturday, MPG Extreme made a major announcement on a VIP call for independent sales reps, ISRs all around the country. The company is on fire right now with tons of growth. They announced a new product, MPG Crumbs for truckers, which is now available a limited time offering, so act fast. It's a 10 pack of vials for $119.95. It comes with 10 vials, each one treating 120 gallons of fuel. This is specifically for you big truckers. Yeah. And big trucks have done amazingly well with X caps. How does MPG Extreme X cap fuel catalyst work? It saves you money one of two ways. Number one, X cap boosts fuel economy for typical gas or diesel burning vehicles. And number two, XCAP allows premium gas users to purchase cheaper, lower grade 87 octane fuel. So if you're burning premium, you don't have to pay for the high price of premium gas while using the XCAP. Here's an email I just received from our viewer, Kevin W. out of Washington, who writes, I was a little skeptical of XCAPs until I tried them. Here are my results of my first tank of gas driving a Ford Ranger FX4. I drove 60 miles, averaging 21.1 miles per gallon then filled up and dropped in the X cap. I averaged 25.8, going as high as 26.4 miles per gallon. This was the second tank of gas in our new Ford Ranger FX4. Kevin W. from Vancouver, Washington. Thanks for that. 
See, even a skeptic can learn something. Consider this, folks. We've spent 13 years growing this channel to 370,000 subscribers. That's no small achievement. There's no way we'd throw what we spent 13 years building to the wind for a hoax. No way. First, XCAPS came referred to us by a very credible source, a longtime friend and hot rod builder in Minneapolis. Then we saw the news test where the Channel 3 news vehicle got 23% fuel mileage improvement. And we followed that up by testing it ourselves and got a 22% improvement on our F-150. No way would we jeopardize our reputation and a decade plus presence on YouTube for a hoax. XCAP is available to you in one of three ways. As a preferred customer, option one, 10 XCAPs for $29.95 plus shipping. That's about three and a half dollars each. And option two, 30 XCAPs for $59.95 plus shipping about $2.50 each. Or the best value is wholesale pricing as an ISR. Now, your third option, 100 X caps for $199.95 plus shipping, about $2 for each capsule. Get the MPG Extreme X cap here, and now also the MPG Trucker Crumbs. It's an introductory price of $119.95 for 10 vials that each treat 120 gallons. The link, mpgextreme.com slash homeworkguy slash join dash now. And we have received many emails from previous customers who have asked how to reorder X caps for those of you with the same question, just use the email that you used for your first purchase and request to reset the password if you've forgotten what you used. Log back in and order the pack you'd like to get. If you have questions about the XCAP and how it can boost your fuel economy, or maybe you're wondering if your vehicle is a good candidate for the XCAP, email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text 701-441-3399. We're building a big customer database so we know how it works and we promise to give you a straight up honest answer. I have one last story about car buying to share with our viewers. Here's proof that the negotiation techniques we've taught on this channel for years still work. These pictures were sent to us from our viewer, Jesse, who happens to live in Texas. His message reads, I just bought a 2021 Dodge Ram Laramie with 12,000 miles on it. All the bells and whistles. Asking price was 61,000. I used the homework guy tactics to my advantage. Final price was 47,000. With tax title and license fees, it came out to 53,000. No dock fee, no registration fee, no other fees. Yeah. He avoided all the fake fees. And then he says, I used Elizabeth's tactic and paid taxes first. I then put half down and had them run my credit for the other half. They took so long that I said I didn't have all day and just paid it <laughs> off in full. They were pissed. Good. Well, way to go, Jesse. You made us proud, and thanks for sharing your story with us. Jesse is indeed a great example of what we teach in action, and it works. Helping the average vehicle owner like Jesse is what we've been doing for 13 straight years. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to the family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back. And to all of our faithful followers out there, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. But we ain't going to Caravana. Yeah, no way, man.